Okay. Hi, this is Michael Ellis, and today I'm going to, well, well, tonight and tomorrow morning, I'm going to be experimenting with a glass of water and a Organite charging plate. So I'm going to see if this actually affects the uh, pH of the water. Oops. Um, and to do that, I lost my pH meter, but I actually have a little uh, soil tester thingy. So I'm going to actually use this, test the pH of the water, and uh, that should give us a good idea. Oh, maybe it won't. I don't know if it has enough light to work. Uh, it says pH is about 7. Okay. It's about 7 there on the bottom uh, of the meter. It's a little less... Like about seven ish. I don't know. Here. If I can get that focus. There we go. Yep, it's about right on seven. Or no. Yeah, yeah, seven. Right on seven. So, with that in mind, okay, I'm going to leave this here overnight. And I'm going to top it off with a towel, and uh, so it can breathe, and uh, um, and one of these little ring things deals. So um, so there aren't any like bugs or whatever getting in, but so um, yeah. So I'm gonna leave this here overnight and see what happens. I'm not going to um actually uh put a lid on it because I don't want it to like ferment or anything. So, um, so I'm going to leave it open so the air can get in. Because then it'll give us a good idea of, like, an open beverage or something. Uh, what it would affect, like, if it was sitting out, like, a coffee coaster or something. If I make some of those out of Organite, how those would affect beverages or, like, containers of food or whatever. So, uh, I'm going to do that. And then I will check back in and I'll splice the two videos together. And I will present them on YouTube, which you are probably now watching. So, thanks for tuning in. This is Michael Ellis. Okay, this is Michael Ellis, and I am back. And we are um, resuming the um, study of water on a uh, Organite charging plate. As you can see, that's not blood, just that's just the, uh, the uh, alchemy experiment. Um... It's the red stage, you know, the uh, Iron Age stuff. Sorry. Um, so, this has been sitting overnight on a charging plate. As you can see, the water is, like, bubbling here. It's, like, really clear, too. It's kind of weird. So, um, I'm going to do a pH reading of that, if I can get it open. Okay, um, and if I can do a pH reading of that, if I can get my phone to stay... I'll have to set it down just a second. Okay, so um, so we've got my pH meter. It's a little soil tester thing. Um, I'm going to do this, then I'm going to do the uh, strip test just to be extra sure. So we've got our pH meter in, and it appears to be at uh, 7... Well, well, yeah, seven-ish, I guess. Uh, kind of right where we left it at before. Um, just to be sure, I'm going to do a, um, a strip test to um, check it again. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we're doing a pH test. Um, this is just to double check what the pH is after sitting a night on the charging plate. So we've got that. Yeah. Here. Should have done this when it began, other than the soil tester, which wasn't that good. So we're looking about.
said bluish. Bluish color. That's weird. Oh, let me look at that. Oh. Yeah, that's... A, oh, it doesn't look the same on... It's the camera that's messing that up. Okay, so that's about a 6.5. Uh, not quite... Oh, maybe... That's about a 6.5. It's a little acidic. A little more than a 7. Um, so it got slightly acidic. Oh, yeah. So it's a 6.5. So, um... I'm going to drop some tap water and test it and see what it is. Okay, here's some tap water. And we'll test that to get our control. Alright, and the camera is going to lie to you. But um, this is more of a... It's a little lighter. It's like 6.25. It's a 6.25, definitely not a 6.5. So it is, it is, there is a bit of a difference. If you hold these next to each other. There is a bit of a difference, you can see. It's a 6.25. See that difference? Okay, I gotta go. Thanks for